All right. For today, I decided I wanted to play Lords of the Fallen. This is the original one, though. So, I'm not really sure what to expect other than it's supposed to be not all that great. The new one's supposed to be not all that great either. But I've had this one. I got it on sale for like $3. And I like what are supposed to be Souls-like games, so... There's no real loss if I don't enjoy it. I might continue playing it, I might not, we'll see. But we're honestly, we're just gonna hop right into it now. We've got Brawling Magic, we've got Deception Magic, we've got Soulless, which... Prayer, a motionless clone that attracts enemy attention to give Park an advantage over time will restore some of your health. A surrounding force that gives more damage, attack, power, and removes energy restrictions. Huh. Your most powerful ally coming down to help you and slam your enemies with a giant hammer wreaking havoc. A powerful charging force that apart from damaging and stagger or knock down the enemies. This guy also has prayer, but he also, instead he has shifts where I move into a shadow dimension. Any attack is devastating, but it brings me back into view. And there's stab, a blood seeking supernatural assassin that sprints towards its prey to severely damage it or take its life. Mimic, a face of magic following you, copying your moves and repeating the damage you've done. Also has prayer. But they did. They do different things though. I just realized this will restore some health. This increased energy recovery, and this one increased magic recovery. Anyway, this guy's shelter, which is a protective shell that highly increases all types of defense and mirrors the incoming damage. Daze, which is a powerful force that inflicts fear upon the enemy, slowing them down and lowering defenses. In punishment, eye for an eye, enemy attacks are being revenged by stunning the opponent. I think I'm gonna go with this. This sounds nice. Though that restore health sounds like it'd be very useful. It's a set of warrior, which is heavy armor, along with a steel sword and a heavy, sh uh, heavy shield, or I guess a kite shield. A set of rogue, there's light armor, steel daggers, and a buckler, and a cleric. Sorry, I just woke up. Which is the medium armor, hammer, kite shield. Ah. Uh -huh. 22, 17, 8. I feel like, honestly. It'd be not fun to go with one of the two heavy things after I just chose the fucking, yeah. There we go. I didn't think it was going to play like this. I thought it was going to. Actually, I don't really know what I expected. But, like, that creation right there, I didn't really expect. Fallen God, creator and destroyer of worlds, hear my vow. <laughs> Oh, are those fingers? Me. 
Yep, the Hand of God Mountains. Yep. So right off the rip, the voice acting and the story that like seem kind of. I wonder if it is still safe. Either way, our quest for Antamon is a conclusion. I hope he's worth all the men we've lost on our way here. Tutorial fight. Let's go. I think a rock's been challenged. Then base first time rider heard of you. If you need help now. You don't need help. Press B. Focus on them, which is pressing the right stick, like usual. Move it away is hit the block or shield. Try right, fast hit. Yeah, that was pretty fast. <laughs> Evasion, so it's just dodging. Like pressing A to dodge. Heavy strikes work really fast when they save more time to execute damage. Press RT to really hurt the marauders. Follow up with the next heavy attack. Okay. And there's the orange bar at the bottom of the screen. Is your energy keep tracking it while fighting? It regenerates, but it just actually consume it. Okay, press A. Alright. Oh god, it's giving me. Demonic weapons. That. These things keep coming. We fight kind of back. Note. But oh, what? Oh, yeah. There are too many of them. It is sickening to see them move. Their limbs twist and turn in ways they're not supposed to. And their smell. It's like Catch. fire okay. and death creeping up your nose. Yeah, so obviously, I think I had like the deluxe edition or the special edition, whatever eye. edition it was. It burned. It gives me some me. special stuff. This, I don't like this. Build rune. The rust needs a specific rune symbol. In fact, you can only revealed by a crafted rune forger. I don't really know how to change this stuff. Scream. Might as well just use the better hammer, right? Yeah, let's see why not. And some better poise. Come on. Dude. Alright, well, I mean... This, this all seems like a weird menu to figure out. Special use can be triggered with LT. Tower shields can be used for a temporary fortification. Gives hard protection by constant. You can press LT to again to end it. Does it talk to you? I do. Okay. It's locked. You're still losing blood, Kazlo. I didn't let you out of prison to worry about me. You're no use to me if you bleed to death. I will try to spare you the inconvenience of my death. There must be some way to open this door. A switch, perhaps, or a key. Yeah. Generally, how you open doors, so. Is that thing I picked up not a key? It seems kind of boring. Uh, 
Oh, I'm heavy. In hindsight, I probably should have thought about that before putting on all this armor. I at least want to keep the, uh, the hammer. Good enough. Got the key. Didn't mean it to end. Okay, this just it feels clunky. Dear father. The fires that's, on the horizon. That's what I'm seeing right now. Is it just village. feels really clunky to play. Be careful. Something evil is happening. I can feel that. You can always seek refuge here in the monastery. Whatever happens, Antanas can save us. Please. I don't know how to heal. Please be safe. I don't know how to heal. Oh, I have to hold X for some reason. Kind of a brutal backstab, though. I can't tell if I'm locked on sometimes either, because the way the camera works. Yeah, I, I had hopes that this game would be underrated or like overhated at least. It's not feeling like it's going to be. I don't want to be negative right off the rip. I've enjoyed quite a few games that people don't enjoy, but you know. Oh, you're just gonna... Okay, I don't feel like it's gonna be that bad. That's kind of fucking stupid. It's a little too early there. Dodge a little too early there. Dodge a little. That attack is fucking slow. You're kidding. I 
I keep expecting follow-up attacks and he just puts a shield up instead. Like a little bitch. Okay, well, I... That slam attack right there is fucking weird. That is so slow. Why? Where's he at? Oh, there he is. I gotta go grab my, uh, my XP, or whatever it's called in this game. So yeah, it's just lost experience. Alright. He's not even blocking! Fucking lying bitch. He's not blocking. Stupid. I do think it's kind of bullshit to have a follow-up attack like that quick. But... What the fuck do I know, I guess? It doesn't look like he's gonna hit you with the shield, so it's like... I don't know why it splinters off like that. It's kinda annoying. I dodged. I clicked A like four times. <laughs> There's really no winning on this combo right here. Because if you want to be able to hit him, then you have to take at least one hit. At least with the hammer. I clicked A. Despite how clunky the game feels, that is one thing I can say, is dodging at least feels really quick and responsive compared to other games. I don't know why I did that instead of just dodging like an idiot. Come on. Why is that attack so goddamn slow? So, it doesn't feel like slow weapons are going to be the move in this game, because everything what feels slow, and slow about. does not complement slow. That sounds weird, but what I mean by that is, like, slow weapons generally don't complement well against slow boss fights. Experience you earn for defeating enemies remains with you until you decide to store it or die. The more to carry, the higher the reward drops for fallen enemies. Still, if you don't want to lose what you currently have, bank it in the save shards like this one. Prevents the loss upon death, but also resets your drop rate modifier. From experience save shards gains gets you attribute and spell points. So I, I probably won't be touching spells that much, so I'm gonna probably store it towards attributes. Do it by opening the care development screen when you close to the save shard. Trust me, you don't want to make your experience now, otherwise... Okay. Alright, well... Character development. 
So, attribute points. I don't really want to reset my modifier or my multiplier, I guess. So, do I like press? I do. Okay. Vitality, faith, endurance, agility, and luck. So, strength is. Effects on all the damage dealt with strength based weapons, but also slightly increase the ability to carry heavier gear. Turns the amount of your health. Increase the amount of magic that you use. Uh, increase the energy you have and significantly increase the ability to carry heavy gear. Deal more damage with fast weapons and you will need more luck to get better awards for killing opponents, but it also helps you better crafting materials. So would it be smart to get luck? To get more like experience? I'm gonna put into agility for now because I kind of want to try over a different weapon. Probably the daggers. Why does that only deal five damage? What? Is it like magic based or something? This Oh, it's because it's a straight. Okay, it has a strength requirement I don't have yet. It would normally deal. What is that? 48? Holy shit. This deals 12. It consumes less energy when dual wielded. So it doesn't look like I really attack with both at once. There's no like power stancing I guess. Find Tazlo. Yeah I'm blowing through a door but which door was it? It looked like that door. Oh probably go the other way. Let's try out the daggers. <laughs> doesn't feel as, as fun and interesting as the hammer did. If I leveled more, it would probably feel better, you know? But, who's to say? I don't know what these runes do either. Obviously, it'll probably teach me at some point. I don't know, I have to sit down and rest. It makes everything a lot quicker. Details. Nope, not details. I really have no idea the menu I'm looking at here. So I have to go reveal my runes. It's just all this stuff that's weird. Alright. Okay, so the backstab is kind of disgusting. This back stab will transfer better loot and gradually increase the experience field farther on. Three sets of once you save a game or die, you can play it safe by restoring the experience possible way. Start later or Three reset a lot of were built for them on the square of the judges, displaying the distinct paths they had taken. These statues hold a secret as if it were their heart, but it is retained by the stone. Only the shard of heroes could make that heart beat, and only an unearthly force could tear it out. Are my eye frames? Okay. 
What if I keep going down? Would there be any benefit to me continuing down? I feel like exactly down is where I'm supposed to go, so I'm not gonna. They wielded power beyond our understanding. They fought fierce. Lock on, please. Not locking on to the dude. We can't stand against such forces much longer. We must find a place to hide. I don't know if a place with walls and soldiers. these like scrolls are like collectible lore, or that for some reason actually have some relative importance. That I just don't know about. I will say, however, this whole camera shake thing is kind of starting to hurt to look at. I know I didn't dodge that. I accidentally dodged. I was just, uh, fat fingered, but. Did not realize they had grab attack. I'm not used to having A, B, a dodge. Ooh, I got the rogue armor. At least it gives you the option to change before you, uh, like getting anything big. Not like change completely, but change a little bit. Might as well grab as much experience as I can before I rest there. Pretty pointless because I'm gonna rest anyway. Right. Huge. Give me more agility, some more give me give me all the agility, honestly. It doesn't respawn enemies when you rest. Big I don't like the lock-on system either, actually. I can't tell if I'm locked on sometimes, and I'm pretty sure it just randomly unlocks you on. Well, thank God. I didn't even mean to dodge. It's actually an accident. Eleven. Why does the heavy attack do less? There's something up there that I missed. I feel like there should be something up here. Whatever. Oh my god, I didn't even realize I was low. I thought that was gonna be a chest. How am I supposed to be open to the gate here then? Am I missing something? That I should have seen. Oh, yep, yes, I am. Is there one on both sides that I missed it on the other side too.
you. Help me. Please. What happened to your hand? Spider venom. It burns like Adir himself touched it. Rip the wound and suck the poison out. Too late. It already spread. There's only one way to stop the venom. Separate the poison limb from the body. You want me to cut my arm off? You're a madman. You will see the judges soon then. I can't. I won't. It's in your hands. So it's my choice whether to cut this dude's arm off or not? Yeah, absolutely I will. All right. On your head be it. Why did he just smooth? No, has he? I owe my life to you, stranger. Wait. You're not one of the monastics. The markings on your face. A gift from the court. A reminder of my sins. Please, put the axe down now. You need someone to patch you up. You won't hold long in this state. I am the healer monk here. And yes, I see the irony of the situation. You must have supplies. I do. They're in the laboratory, but the place is full of Rogar beasts. It's no use. I won't make it there in this condition. Help yourself. Ah, no, I wanted to go back up. Man. Damn. Can I talk to him again and give him the potion? Wait. Here. Huge. Is there another lever over here to open this gate? There was. I really am just blind. I even walked over here. Then Kazla was fucking launched if I haven't found him yet. Honestly, it feels bad for that dude. I'm gonna rest right quick. Experience bonus, dude. I'm just trying to sprint. Can I save your progress without losing experience on her. Just hold down LS when using the checkpoint. Your health and potions will not be replenished in this case, though. All right. Three of them. Now you're just making it inconvenient on me. Not hard though. Just just mildly inconvenient. Got the symmetry armor set. I don't know if there are iframes in this game, but it certainly does not feel like it. Because like, you just have to dodge and make sure you're out of the way of the attack. Ninth night on watch. How could the Pokemon inside the sacred halls of Keystone appeared out of nowhere? Dude. The graveyard is so The lock on just does not feel good. <laughs> lock on just the following of it's weird magical runes are very mysterious for you can use some crafting someone needs to help you by breaking up your heal of weight might be a use for shield runes too you would craft those weapons shields and armor slots that have special rune slots all right i was just by putting a rune in the slot all right What's that hey live elements armor and an attribute point shard Apart from a consumable item by holding X, you can now toggle between your favorite items by clicking X. So it's favorited items, that's what it is. It's an additional attribute point. 
an additional spell point. Alright. That's kind of huge. Can I put points into my attributes when I'm not at a... Whatever the thing's called? I guess so. Do that real quick then. We'll put them into... Agility. And... You know what? More health there. Yeah, we'll get a little more health. Maybe. I will do that. So I kind of want to change armor as well, so... Symmetry heavy armor. 21 defense, 2 poise. Seems like the best thing I got going on right now, but there's also medium armor. That's my dodge looking. Is there like a quick dodge that if I have like medium armor on I can use? I didn't get a chest piece for it. But this is my only light armor. I guess medium armor. Can I completely unequip a shield? I can! That's big. Dude's jacked too. Alright. Can I go put my regular armor back on? Symmetry. Symmetry. Okay, so if I'm in the yellow, I heavy roll. God damn it. It's fine, I guess. Enemy over there? Well, I'm just blind. Didn't even mean to do that. Thank you, everything. I wonder if anybody tried to no-hit this game. I'm sure somebody's tried it. I wonder if anybody's ever actually successfully no-hit this game. You get away from me. Don't hurt me. I've no mind to take your life. You have my thanks. But understand your markings. Your face. You frighten me. There are demons infesting the whole of this place. Flee if you wish to live. Everyone took refuge in the Citadel. And Danis, our leader, gave oath that he would mark the way to the remaining entrance. But I can't follow the signs when the whole place is teamed by those monsters. I'm trapped. I'll keep... Listen carefully. This trinket will help you discover Antanas' markings. There are three signs I know of. Please find them. Return to me as soon as you locate the signs Antanas left for us. If you help me, I'll give you something of interest in return. I would like to find another boss fight before I end, but... Oh, I got a ring. I think it makes Antennas' hidden signs visible to his followers. Alright. Huge. Didn't even notice these doors were here. Gross bitch. No, I just... Hot blood. 
Oh my god. Crouch was. Okay. Means that this will have means that this will have been where I just came from. I don't know what markings I'm looking for. It's gotta be like a, a switch or something in one of these rooms that I missed. That gate's not open and I don't know how to open it. Probably just go past it like this though. Yep, there's a switch. this oh some sort of magic catalyst the gauntlet's a unique weapon it is match engine for various range attacks i expanded with all three firing modes tip it is definitely worth crafting it later Just, i'm assuming that means like i lose it or something but, like, ice? Ah, I'm out of magic. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're free firing me. That makes sense. And now I'm heavy again, because involuntarily gave me... I'm dodging! Leave me be! That's fucked up, actually. I just wanted to test out the gauntlet. You told me to test out the gauntlet. And then... You let me die while I'm testing the gauntlet. And you respawn the enemies. <laughs> Did... Oh, it's because I'm using the skill, not the... Okay. One of the skills is what I need to use. Alright. Explosive. Alright. Not enough magic. Wait. I can fix that. Let's see if I have enough magic when I go around here. Well. Can I take off the gauntlet? <laughs> Is there any way to take off the gauntlet? I just need some... Holy shit! Or it came out of nowhere. I'm just gonna ignore them for now. I'd rather have my own experience back. I say as I fight an enemy I don't need to fight. Lost experience. Huge. All right. Fucking suck. Another room? 
They really are just like handing them out, huh? Mighty Antares, I've found traces of a Rogar Lord that was once known for his preoccupation with the physical form, and his shield being no less than a weaponry masterpiece. That's most peculiar. Okay, no. I would never have suspected Rogar to care. Those, the, no that that guy just came in the attack right there. Those ones are the these ones. Annoying as shit. I don't know why I dodged. <sighs> that would dodge a little late, but luckily he didn't hit me. Huge. Little bastard. They do an unreasonable amount of damage for how quickly they can attack. They should let me forge my own stuff right there. I feel like that'd be fair, you know? Lethal secret short sword and then fire resistance shard? Yeah, even actual shard. Lethal secret. <laughs> I think my brother wants me to play Monster Hunter Rise. Hey, I got the last piece of the live elements chest uh, stuff. I am actually gonna switch to that. Live elements. I would like to have a little bit faster stuff going on. Okay, I see you, I see you. Where was this? Where was? What if I can spike it down? I know there's a crystal up that I can use to like level up and stuff. That's fucking disgusting. Gotta spit something at them, aren't you? That hurt a little. Everything does pause when I do this, all right. Ow, dick. Make me very uncomfortable. Ow. Let me go. Seriously, that's actually like, that's fucking stupid actually. I didn't stop pressing A, he just fucking stun locked me. <laughs> Got to dodge once and he had me trapped in the corner anyway, so it didn't matter. I have 2300 experience, I cannot let that go. Hurry. Died. <laughs> Won't be that hard to get there. That hit and jump. Didn't even stop holding A. I think I can kill that thing down there. I ain't got no reason not to try, so... Does quitting out work? That's the question to be asking here. Okay, all of you go fuck yourselves. I'm gonna go level up. I did say I think I could kill it. I never said I was gonna kill it. Get this bitch ass gauntlet out of here. Doesn't concern you. 
Alright, drop them. Don't mind me then. What was that about? They're liars and worse besides. Not only did they steal my family valuables, but they've hidden the pathway. Pathway. It's a monastery, no women allowed. Otherwise unreachable. Places that hold secrets, and secrets hold power. I was on my way there when the Rogar appeared out of nowhere. Why are you so sure it's still here? It's in the Book of Lineage, and the book does not lie. Alright, well. We'll do this. Are you sure those friars stole from you? Don't be a fool. The men in they've bled the villagers dry over but they're Alright, you know what? I'm leaving. I must go. Suit you. I'm pretty sure I have to tell her no women allowed. But uh, you know. Perish of Emulence? Bank XP. You know, I probably should have saved for those shards until after I used my experience at the next, uh, thing. Is this strength-based weapon? It is not. Endurance will get me up to 21 equip load. Strength will get me up to 19. Vitality will get my health up to 180. That would be huge. I can't even do more damage by level of agility twice. My luck looking. Alright, we'll do that and. Might just do agility one more time because I'm gonna need it eventually. Alright, what's this? Faith requirement for my next level is 8. Alright. We'll say. This is where I'm gonna end this one off. Um. don't think i'm gonna keep playing this on recording i think i will play it on my own time but i will say from the small like hour or so that i played i do think it is over hated i do think all the stuff that i hear about it is just a little excessive with that being said that doesn't mean it's a great game by any means it's it's pretty flawed it's slow it's clunky there's it it's like the voice acting not great story is just meh I, I don't know i feel like it has the possibility of being quite fun to play on your own though it's got like some charm to it just being as kind of if you don't think about it as if it was supposed to be a really good game it helps you know it's like if you go into it knowing it's not good then it kind of lets you off the hook a little if you got like three if it's on sale and you got like a couple bucks to spend and you're looking for something to play go for it i do i do think it's worth getting on a really good deal i don't think i'd pay full price for it but if you got like a good deal going might as well bye, -bye.